If you're trying to get the word count on one of your Notion pages, the good news is that Notion already is tracking this data and here's how you access it. So on any page, you can go to the top right where you have these three dots, scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll notice at the very bottom it has this section called word count and then it'll give you a number. So this page that we're looking at has 173 words. Now, what that means is this is including the title, this is including everything that is visible on the page. Now, if you have a database on the page, this also includes the title of the database, any, any um, headings that are visible, any properties that have text. It's also counting all of these uh, words in your total word count. Uh, of course, it's also gonna include anything that's in the toggle, or any bullet points. So this is a total like 173 words counts everything that is visible on this page. Now that can be helpful at a high level, but what if you want to just know how many words are in this specific bullet point? Uh, let's say you want to you know minimize the number of words and you want to make sure that everything is every sentence you have is under 10 words, whatever the case may be. Unfortunately, Notion doesn't have an option built in to do this. Uh, what we can do is we have a workaround we can do in the databases, but you can also just go to a third party tool uh, like wordcounter.net, the word counter. If you just Google word counter, you'll find a bunch of options. Uh, you can basically just copy and paste your text in. It'll give you the characters and the words um, immediately. So uh, I'm not going to go in depth with those because you can find your own tools and whatever works for you. But then there's another option you can do at the database level. So Basically what this is, is in a database, you can add a text property and then add formulas to actually get the characters and the number of words in that text property. Now, if you want a more in-depth walkthrough of how to do this, I actually got this from Murali Balarman's YouTube video titled, How I Use the Word Count Formula to Write Better with Notion. So I'll leave the link in the description for this video. Um, and I basically just took the formulas right out of that video. So as you can see in this database, uh, this is basically just like a name or title section here. Um, and then this is the actual text that we're trying to get accounted. So basically, well, we have a formula here to track the number of characters that are in here. Um, and then this one tracks the number of words. So the characters formula is actually pretty easy. I'll just show it to you right now. It's literally just length and then you put the property you want. So the property we want in this case was called post. This is the property we want. And so, you know, based on that, we got 82 characters. And then the number of words formula is a little bit more complicated. I'll pull it up so you can take a look. Basically what we're doing is we're actually tracking the number of spaces that are in the actual text. And so this is why you gotta be careful. Like if you add an extra space at the end, it'll count an extra word. I'll add the text of this formula and the other formula in the YouTube description. Just remember that where it says post right here, you're actually gonna to have to change with whatever property that you're trying to actually get the word count of. And now if we actually take a look and basically do a spot check here, so our formula is telling us this is 82 words and this is 14 words. If we spot check here, I've already done this. We got 14 words and 82 characters for this sentence. Basically the same, so the next one is 82 and 17. Um, same thing here, uh, 82 and 17, and then six and 28, 28 and six. So it does work, it matches up what the word counters are giving. Just to give you another example and do this real time, let's say I wanna just get the actual word count of this. Um, we'll basically create a new thing here and then we'll just paste this here and boom. So this is 122 characters and 19 words. Now one thing to note is that if you create a page within one of your database entries, for example, I did this here and you add text in this page, this text right here is not included in the word count of the prior page, right? So this will have its own word count over here, 20 words, but those 20 words are not included in the overall count that we saw initially of 195 words. Um, and you can see this added to 195, this increased because we added uh, these words right here. And that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this was helpful.